Brendan from Tackle Shack LLC here in Middlebury, Indiana. We have got a pretty cool item on the market right now for live facing sonar and we wanted to share today with you how to unbox your package when you get it and how to install your live pole mount from Tackle Shack. All right, everyone, now I've got the pull mount unpackaged. Here's kind of a hardware kit, the travel strap, the extension rod handle, and the pull mount bulk and what you'll get when you receive it, and an owner's manual. Now we're gonna head over to a boat and I'll show you exactly how to put it on, install it, and use it. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight here the hardware package and how that all goes together. Now this particular hardware package is for the Minn Kota All Trex. Uh, of course, we do have these for uh, Garmin Force, and we have pull mounts for what would be Lowrance Ghost. So the hardware package is gonna vary just a little bit in between those, and we also have them for the what would be the Minn Kota Fortrex. And again, the hardware package will vary a little bit between each model, but the concept remains the same. You're gonna have two longer bolts, and you're gonna have some shorter bolts depending on if you're going to install what would be the travel assist rod or if you're going to leave that off. So the lock washers go onto the hardware and as far as tools you'll basically need to get the appropriate open end box wrench. All right, so you're gonna start with the main bracket assembly. You're gonna put that into place positionally for your all treks or whichever trolling motor you have. And you're gonna take the longer hardware first and you're gonna run that through the kickstand support arm for your trolling motor. Get that in place and then we'll run the shorter ones over here on this side. And that'll give us our full support of the bracket. And then you will simply take your wrench and you will tighten the hardware up. All right, now that you have the main assembly bolted to the trolling motor, you're gonna next get your pull mount and make sure the depth adjustment collar is up in place on the pull mount before you insert it into the main bracket assembly. But that's how you would do it. You run the, bra the pull through the bracket assembly, put it into place, and you're gonna have your depth collar adjustment all the way towards the top. Now that we have the main assembly bracket in place, we've got the pull mount installed into the bracket, we're gonna mount the transducer. Here we have shown, which would be the original live scope on a perspective bracket. So we bolt that into place, just like you were bolting it onto the shaft of the trolling motor. And then we make our wire run safely and into under into the bow. Um, I've used Velcro straps, you can use electrical tape, you could use zip ties as long as you're not tying them too tight. We don't want to put any sort of pressure on the cable itself. Um, but then with these Velcro straps gives me the ability to make adjustments on the fly if I need to out during my fishing day. Okay, now we determine where we need to position the pull mount so that we can safely keep the transducer away from the propeller. So what I've done here, guys, is I have set this up in perspective view to where I have about three quarters of an inch clearance from my propeller. That way I am confident that it's not gonna get into the propeller or damage it, anything like that. So at this point, I take my depth adjustment collar. I've got my trolling motor at full uh, depth. So I know it can't go any lower than that. I'm gonna tighten this down so that I know with full confidence the pull is gonna hold in place and the transducer will not get into the propeller. But the next key is putting our safety stop set screw in place into the pull mount. So now that I have that determined, I'm gonna take a screw gun and I'm gonna screw this into the pull mount and that is my safety so that if anything would fail, I'm on rough water, or I forget to tighten my depth collar adjustment, that this is gonna protect my transducer from getting damaged in the propeller. 
And the final thing to take into consideration, gang, is kind of our tension adjustment screw. So what's cool about this piece is that on a calm day, we can have this fairly loose, and that gives us plenty of easeability in adjusting the pull mount. But on those rough days where you've got some big waves, if we tighten this down, you can see how that holds the pull in place and allows you to make adjustments and the pull uh, the transducer on the pull is not going to shift on you left or right it's going to hold based on how tight you you put this tensioning screw so guys this is a great product give us a shout out or come take a look at our website at tackleshackllc.com <music>